Hi everyone, welcome back. If you are new, please consider subscribing. My name is Yadi and I make educational videos for beauty professionals in training and for anyone who likes to continue learning. In today's video, we are going to be doing an esthetician stay bored written study guide part number two. Please read your textbook for more information on each subject. Information is not limited to the one shown in this video. If you find the information helpful, don't forget to give it a like. Let me know in the comments if you are currently studying for your state board exam. Don't forget to share with a friend or anyone who you may think could find the information helpful. Now let's get started. Number one, what are telangiectasia characteristics? Capillaries that have been damaged and are now larger or distended blood vessels commonly called coporose skin. Number two, what is the average cell turnover rate? The average is 28 days depending on a person's age. The cell turnover rate slows down with age. Number three, what is a common depilator? Shaving would be a very common depilator along with the use of a chemical depilator such as nares are all methods of depilation. Number four, how is a person's skin type determined? It is determined by analyzing the follicle, in other words, pore size. That would be the beginning step of determining a person's skin type by analyzing their pore size, their follicle size. Number five, what can aggravate rosacea? Well, spicy foods, caffeine, heat, sun, stress can all aggravate rosacea symptoms. Number six, what is the correct direction of massage? The answer is always massage from insertion to origin. Number seven, what are the apocrine glands? They are coiled structure attached to the hair follicle under the arms genital area, sensitive to adrenaline and can cause odor. Number eight, what do you use to remove artificial lashes? The answer is oil-based removers. Number nine, the disincrustation solution is what type of base? The answer is it is an alkaline base solution. Number 10, what does face makeup contour do? The answer is minimizes a specific area. Number 11, an esthetician can only administer up to what percentage of glycolic acid? The answer is 30% or less. Number 12, what eyebrow shape or style would best be suitable for a client with a long face? The answer is making the eyebrows almost straight with less arch can create the illusion of a shorter face. Number 13, what are the effects of microcurrent? The answer is, it is used to tone and stimulate facial muscles. Number 14, what is the function of the sudoriferous glands? The answer is, to help regulate body temperature and eliminate minute amounts of waste by excreting sweat. Number 15, what do you do if any porous instrument contacts blood or body fluid? The answer is, 
it should be immediately double bagged and discarded in a close covered trash container or a biohazard box. Number 16. Why is an open comedone black? It is because it has been exposed to oxygen and oxidation occurs. Number 17. Clay mask helps with impurities and what else? The answer is it helps draw sebum oil from the skin. Number 18. Which vitamin is ascorbic acid found in? The answer is vitamin C. Number 19. What can cause skin conditions? Well, both internal and external factors can cause skin conditions. Number 20. Which form does the client sign to indicate they agree to the service and products that they're going to be used during treatment? The answer is a consent form. Number 21. Why should you not use high alkalinity products on the face? The answer is they are too drying to the face and will increase sensitivity and inflammation. Number 22. Massage should last how many minutes? It should last anywhere between 10 to 20 minutes during a facial. Number 23. Too much steam could cause the answer is, do not use too much steam on coporos or inflamed skin because it dilates the capillaries and follicles, causing more redness and irritation. Number 24. What is iontophoresis? You guys, iontophoresis is the process of using electric current to introduce water-soluble solutions into the skin. Also be able to perform penetration of ions deeper into the skin. Number 25. What are the hair growth stages? The hair growth stages are anagen, catagen, and telogen. Number 26. What should you not wax over? You should not wax over scar tissue, moles, skin tags, and warts. May I add that if someone has a wart, you should not be waxing them in the first place. Number 27. How many times should you check for changes in your skin? This should be done annually, once a year. Consider going to a dermatologist if you see new growths or abnormalities in your skin. Number 28. What is a form of a secondary lesion? The answer is keloid, a crust, a fissure, which would be a crack in the skin, an ulcer, a scar, are all considered secondary lesions. Number 29. Medications that are contraindication for waxing. The answer is any type of acne medication like Accutane or blood thinning medication. Remember that a Client consultation is very important prior to waxing and knowing everything that they are taking so that there aren't any issues. Number 30. What is the purpose of the stratum germinativum? Well, the purpose of the stratum germinativum, which is also known as a basal cell layer, Cell mitosis takes place in the stratum germinativum. It produces new epidermal skin cells, and so that means it is responsible for growth. 
Number 31, what is the redness and bumpiness in the cheeks, upper arms, legs, or thighs that is caused by block follicles? The answer is keratosis pilaris. Number 32, during galvanic current, where does the client typically hold the electrode? The answer is on their hand. Number 33, what does eyeshadow do for the eyes? The answer is, it accentuates and contours the eyes. Number 34, under the wood's lamp, thin or dehydrated skin shows up as light violet purple. The answer is light violet purple. Number 35, if a client is allergic to aspirin, what acid should they stay away from because it contains aspirin? The answer is salicylic acid. That concludes this study guide. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you for your continued support. Let me know in the comments down below if these study guides are a little bit easier for you to follow along with. You guys, thank you so much. Let's keep going. Hey, let's keep growing. And I will see you on the next one. Don't forget to share, give it a thumbs up. And again, consider subscribing if you're not already doing that. See you on the next one.